Hey home bakers, it's me, it's Jack at bakewithjack.co.uk bringing your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. I'm here at the cookery school in Abergehammer in Surrey where I do my bread making classes. We just finished one, I just thought I'd record this quickly while it's fresh in my head. And um, today's bread, baking, bread making tip is all about sort of ratios of flour and water, okay? When you're mixing up your dough, when you're putting the water into the flour for your bread, dough, when you mix it up, try not to judge it too quickly in terms of like how dry it is, how it might be too dry, it might be too wet, because it might be nice and soft and moist, but floury on the outside leading you to think that it's too dry. Uh, and it might not be. Try and mix it all together first, get it out onto the table so you can feel what, you, what you're doing. And then if there's anything creeps into your mind, like for example today something happened, and someone's dough was a little bit dry, was a little bit tight, and they said, oh, I'm not sure about this. And I said, let's mix it up, get it out on the table first, and then we can really see what's going on. Turned out, uh, it was quite dry. Something went wrong in the measuring uh, of the water. Something must have gone wrong somewhere down the line. So it's quite dry, and this is what we did, okay? We got the recipe, um, added up all the quantities in the recipe, the flour, the water, the yeast, uh, there was herbs in there, all the, all the, the olive oil, all the quantity of the recipe in there, added it all up and got the number of what our dough should have weighed. Then we weighed the actual dough and it turned out that the dough was 53 grams lighter than what it should have been in the recipe. So we knew we could add 53 grams of water is probably what's missing and that's what we did. We put the dough back in the bowl, poured the water in, Gave a good squeeze up. When your dough's already a dough, it's quite tricky to get that water in, but you just keep squeezing it with your hands, working it in the bowl, and all the moisture will go into that dough eventually. It all went in, it came out, we needed it, or they needed it, I didn't need it. They needed it nicely, and uh, it came out nice and silky smooth, exactly what it should have been. And that's how we found out what was missing. We thought, well, probably there's moisture missing, weigh the dough, work out what it should have weighed, and the difference, we add the extra water in, if that makes sense. That's what we did, and that's how we fixed it, and it came out looking lovely. Um, so nice one, chaps. It's happened two weeks in a row. That's why I thought I'd think I thought I'd talk about this this week because it's happened twice in a row, two weeks in a row, and uh, that's how we figured it out, got back on track. Um, but again, just double check everything as it's going into the recipe, so you're confident that when you move on, it's exactly like it should have been. But as long as your recipe comes from a trusted source, go with the ingredients. And if there's something in the back of your mind saying too tight, weigh the difference, add the water in. And that's it. So as always, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope it's helped you out with the bread making. If there's one thing you're struggling with, one issue you're coming up against, the one thing in your mind you're not quite sure if you're doing it correctly, get in touch and let me know and answer one every single week. Thank you very much. Have a lovely week and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.